I don't want to say I had no testimony, but I did have very little. I was very, very arrogant about my spiritual life. Whenever people tell me about, you know, reading the scripture and they loving it, they they love the, the praying and, and I thought it was like, oh, you're so full of yourself, like you know. I thought like, oh, okay, whatever, you, you're you're this this good old good good guy, whatever it is. And when I went to MTC, I didn't really feel like it was that special place. I was really depressed the whole time for like two or three days, and because I was not feeling the spirit. I didn't really sure, like, what am I doing here if I'm not feeling the spirit? To the point that I thought I should just return home. But then another phase came and it's like, I wanted to feel it too. You know, talk about all that kind of, did you feel the spirit? Oh, something like that, you know, those cliche words. And I was like, that I realized that I need my own testimony, not just like knowledge. And it got to a point I was just flipping through the pages of the Book of Mormon and it got to a, a scripture famous one, the Ether 12, 27. The word just spoke to me, like the God, God gave you the weakness so that I can be humble. I remember like my eyes tearing up and just that time, knowing that Book of Mormon is true, like, whoa, this, this is the spirit, you know? And I was able to go to the mission. I had a really fun mission there. I think that, that, was, that sincerity of my heart got me to really search to have my own testimony, and I'm grateful for it. Recently, some, it's not a necessarily spiritual hardship, but like some like, my, my future and all this kind of stuff comes into my head. But I remember, oh, I've got to go to the temple because it's right there. And that's the only place I can get my mind straight. It has been really helpful uh, not to be discouraged and still be hopeful. I wish I had felt this like long time ago and continued to do it. But now that I've experienced the joy that it brings to me and like a sort of calm mind, I can't be away from it, you know? It's like, it's just like, I can't live without this. This is just so great. Why would you like not do this? I've changed. And I just wish that people would <coughs> experience similar of their own. It's so unique. It's like your fingerprint. Like everybody has different stories. If someone asks me like, hey, how did you even get you know, started and all that, it really has to come from you. You want to have that desire, you want to feel spirit, then it'll come. <laughs>